Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I'm here in my Hall of the Lunar Champions house. The reason I came here is because it's empty and I can put the uh, put some stuff out. I wanted to show you guys. I just wish we could go down there, but if you jump down there, Slaughterfish will kill you. So today, I actually got the Bat Pet. Let's check him out. Okay, so we just go to Housing Editor, Browse, Non-Combat Pets. He's going to be in Flying Pets, not Domestic or Diedrich or Exotic. Keep going down, be in Flying. I like couldn't find him. I was just like, what? Here he is. Long-winged Bat Pet. <laughs> I don't know. Those wings don't look that long to me, but let's see. Let's put him somewhere let's put it right here okay there he is flying around like a crazy man it's pretty pretty tiny I had thought he would be bigger but that's okay it's pretty good if you run over here he'll like he'll do nothing okay if you if you don't have him in your house then he'll He'll fly around. I mean, he'll fly around you a little bit far away and then come back. I had him on this morning. I mean, you know, it's free. It'll be cool for a vampire character. I am a vampire, but I don't exactly look like one. So, um, yeah, that's all you have to do is go into your non-combat pets and look for winged non-combat pets, and that'll be him. That's eh, free. What are you going to do? But, um... Now this is another trick that I learned that I want to show you guys today, and uh, I think it's I think it's pretty amazing. So I was on my Stamplar today, my Stamina Templar, and I was playing PvP. My joke, my friend Joker and I went into PvP, and we also went into Battlegrounds. Got lots of boxes, and I didn't open them on purpose because he's only level right now. He's level forty-seven. So I didn't open the mail, and then I went to my big character, my main, and then I also did a dungeon on that guy. So let's see if the dungeon Undaunted Pledge will also become, let's see. Uh, okay, all we have to do is look. Shield of Willpower. Now, okay, that's not going to work for this, but you do get the Pulverized Dibilium, which is the trait for Harmony. But look at this. You see, rewards for the worthy. Pee Wee Deeps. That's this character. Because I opened the mail, I'm getting all these prizes with the name of this character. And this character has not been in PvP in so long. So let's check it out. What do we get? Okay. So we go rewards for the worthy. Champion prize. Rewards for the Worthy, Champion's Prize, Rewards for the Worthy, Renown and Rewards, one day at a time, Rewards for the Worthy, and another one. Okay, so, see what's, what's good about this is that you'll be able to get, all, get the gear to be the level of Champion. Instead of, you know, you get the stuff that's low level, like 47 gear. Now all this stuff is going to be six, uh, 160. So the Battlemaster Riven's reward box. I got a Coward's Gear Resto Staff, which, you know, that's all right. But look, it's 160. It could have been something better than that. But it's, uh, that's all right. And then we do the Plenio. There's no gear in here. No gear. No gear. Some of these might have gear. 65 Telvar. Okay. Now this. Soldier of Anguish. Greatsword. 160. Maybe some people will think, oh, that's no big deal. But the point is, is that when you crush it up, it's worth more than if it's a level 47. Because it takes the uh, higher level mats to make it. So if you decon it, then you'll get all the stuff out of it. And, you know, it's just a little trick. I think it's... I think it's pretty amazing to be able to make the gear be <laughs> be this level. 
Because, you know, if you have, I got a Coward's Gear ring. Let's say it's level 47. That's only going to take a very small amount of the Iridium when you crush it. When I crush it on this guy, which I will do anyway. It's just easier for me because I have all the points. If you look here, we go to skills. Like in blacksmithing. Okay, so I'll have metal extraction, all three of those. Maximize the chance of extracting blacksmithing ingredients. That's why you want to, you know, for blacksmithing and clothing, it's going to be unraveling. And then for woodworking, it's going to be wood extraction. That's why you want to put those points in there on your crafter, one of your characters, just to be your crafter. And when you get those points in there, whenever you decon stuff or refine stuff you get more um, materials totally worth it I can get you know if I get a lot of rings that are low level and then I put them on give them to this character to decon deconstruct them and then I refine the materials it's just like a, a lot more than if I use those little characters so I know space can be a problem but that's why you do your writs and then you get your boxes and stuff like that. So we got the Batwing pet and the little trick about that. The Mid-Year Mayhem, this is the last day. For me, it's only, it's early, it's 10, 19 in the morning. So I have about 12 more hours. At 2 o'clock when, when it pops, I'll go and get another box so I can get more tickets. And that'll be the end of the Mid-Year Mayhem Festival. I don't know what's going to be the next event, but I'm thinking what it might be is if we go here and we look in collections and then we go to fragments. Now see this Voroplasm pet. There's going to be all these different things that you have to collect. Okay. What it says is acquired from Merkmire strong boxes or from the Impresario for a limited time. So there's also this the wooden grave stake memento. Okay? And this is acquired from Merkmire strong boxes or from the Impresario for a limited time. Now strong boxes that doesn't give you any kind of impression that maybe it's gonna be some event, but Merkmire's anniversary, it's been it's coming up on being a year. They put this in here. With the fragments part. So it's possible that we will get uh, an event from Merkmar. That'll be fun. It'll be like, not sure if it's double AP or not, like the birthday events. Also, Orsinium should be coming up sometime, which is good. Go to Rothgar. Never really took you guys to Rothgar before, except for to get the recipe. You get Malakath, uh, Trinimac, Ancient Orc motifs from there and they're pretty easy to farm ancient orcs a little harder you have to go to public dungeons to get it but it's not really that bad not really that difficult and i'm going to be showing you guys a lot more motif stuff pretty soon hope you guys enjoyed the motif and outfit station breakdown because you know like this guy what i'm wearing right now is i've got the i've got the skin let me show you in my collections and I go down to appearance or up to appearance and then it's going to be polymorph no sorry not polymorph skins and I'm wearing the meridian purified you get this from getting depths of malator conqueror and what that is is just do it on vet you go into depths of malator and you do vet dungeon and you get this skin. I really like it. I think it looks incredible. And then the other stuff I'm wearing is um, Dead Water, which comes from Merkmire. The motifs all come from Merkmire. The only thing different is the belt is primal. It's a skull. My trademark. And the shoulders. I'll show you the shoulders. These are the armor. We go to shoulders. Everybody should have these because all you have to do is elsewhere um, let's see they're probably in the very bottom with all the collection ones signature no 
It's these, I believe. Yep. Because if I put these on... And if I take these off, what am I wearing? It's this, right? Yeah. These are the ones. All you have to do is complete the quest, the final order, and you get Sky Terror, Dragon Slayer, Pauldrons. I thought they looked really good. Match well with my costume. And the nice thing about it is when you put on the costume, it will just, the color will just kind of like color coordinate with everything you're already wearing, which I thought is very convenient for a fashion moron like myself. So that's about it for today. I just wanted to show you the the little bat pet that you get. And I also wanted to show you the trick that if you get low level stuff, I guess, except for dungeon boxes like the Undaunted boxes. But if you get those PVP boxes or any of the questing boxes and you're on a low level character, you just save them up and open them on your bigger vetted out characters. Anybody above 160 because then the gear will all be the same. So one more look at the little bat. There he is right there flying around. I think he'll be pretty good for a creepy looking vampire. I have him on my necromancer right now. My new necromancer because I have three necromancers. And uh, doing the relic games in uh, Battlegrounds is really fun. My friend and I were doing great. Yesterday we did a Battlegrounds and we did a relic. Oh, it was an epic contest. Just the very end we won. We played with this guy named T-Dog. Shout out to T-Dog. He's really good. Got like 22 kills, even though we're doing relics. <laughs> that was great. And then we won. Just so fun. I really like that better than Deathmatch. Deathmatch is, you know, everybody's focusing on killing each other and stuff. And that's fun. But I think it's a lot more fun to play flag games or play relic game or something like that. Where you have like a goal besides just killing each other. But that's just me. Your mileage may vary. Well, that's it for today. Give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And please leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you want to see. Or if you have any questions or if there's anything I can help you with, I'll be glad to do it. So until that time, let's get paid.